Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create a WordPress user from MailerLite subscriber. So are you also using WordPress and MailerLite for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So whether I'm doing the same, I'm running an online learning platform and I always wish to make things easier for my student. So for that, the objective of our today's video is that as soon as a new subscriber is created in my MailerLite account, that is as soon as a new subscriber subscribes to my email list, automatically users should be created in my WordPress too with the same details so that all of my subscribers created can access the exclusive content on my WordPress account and also that user should be sent the login credentials of their WordPress account so to do this we are going to create a connection between MailerLite, WordPress and then Gmail so to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli Connect it is an amazing automation software so I'm going to do all of this because I want to increase the learning experience of my students. So if you also wish to learn this process step by step, then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to create WordPress user from MailerLite subscriber. So as you know that I'm running a popular online learning platform and I always wish to make things easier for my students. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between our MailerLite account and our WordPress account so that as soon as someone signs up on my email list in my MailerLite account with the help of this form, automatically users should be created in my WordPress account too so that all of my students can right away access the member only content or the exclusive content rights so without waiting for the manual setup and this can save me a lot of amount of time and also can give my students a seamless learning experience so to do all of this I've opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser it is very easy so as soon as we'll open the landing page of Pabli we are going to get two options one is sign in and the another one is sign up for free so if you're a new user you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get hundreds of tasks free every month but I'm an existing user so I'm going to click on sign in right over here and now it is opening all Pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli but in today's video we are going to use Pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli connects account and now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation we are going to click on this button which says create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in so I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to create a WordPress user from MailerLite subscriber and then we are going to click on create and now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander and multiple followers. So where we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now I'm going to select my trigger application which is MailerLite because I want that as soon as a new subscriber is created in my MailerLite account, automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm going to search for it and then we are going to select MailerLite. And then for the trigger event, we are going to select it as subscriber created. And now we are going to click on connect. And as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your MailerLite account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token so we are going to read the help text and it is saying log into your MailerLite account or authenticate api request an api token is required so we're here it is giving me the hyperlink of learn more so we are going to open this and now you can see that it has directly taken me to my api tokens so as you can see all the api tokens i've created so it was very easy because i've already logged in my MailerLite account beforehand so it is always advanced to log in your applications before starting with the automation. So now after clicking on this hyperlink, we are going to click on generate new token and now it is asking me for the token name. So I'm going to give a dummy token name which is test key and then I'm going to agree with all the terms and conditions and click on create token and over here you can see my API token so I'm going to copy this and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow and then we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save you can see that we have successfully connected our MailerLite account with our Pabli's workflow and now we are going to click on save and send test request to capture the response. 
and you can see that it is saying waiting for response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this response we have to do a test submission and in order to do the test submission i'm going to open my form and over here you can see that this is my form so i'm going to enter the dummy details and do the test submission so for the name i'm going to keep it as demo email as demo user 899 at the rate pablitudes.com and for the phone number i'm going to keep it as this only and then we are going to click on subscribe and yes, you can see you have successfully joined our subscriber list. Thank you. So this means that we have successfully submitted our this form. And now MailerLite has sent the details of our submission to our workflow. So first I'm going to put my MailerLite and check that if a new subscriber has been created with the same details or not. So I'm going to put my MailerLite and then we are going to go on subscribers. And over here you can see a new subscriber has been created with the same email demo user 899 at the rate .com. So yes with this our this trigger step is successful so I'm going to open my workflow. And yes you can see that we have received the response response says so I'm going to open the response and yes you can see that we have received the response of the details that we submitted. Over here you can see the name, over here you can see the phone number we are going to move on forward, over here you can see the email that we entered. So yes with this our trigger step is successful and now we are moving on to our action step. So for our action application we are going to select WordPress because I want that as soon as a new subscriber is created in my MailerLite account automatically a user should be created in my WordPress also so that they can access my exclusive content. So I'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as create a user. And then we are going to click on connect. And again, it is asking me for the same. So if you have already connected your WordPress account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection. And now it is asking me for the WordPress user or email, WordPress password and the base URL. So first you have to keep in mind that you have to read the help decks and it is saying important to use this integration ensure that wordpress rest api authentication plugin is installed and active on your wordpress site with basic authentication configured please set up this before proceeding so you have to keep in mind that you have to set up this before proceeding so i've already set up this so i'm going to enter the username and the password right over here and now after entering the username and password you are going to move on forward for the base url and if you want to learn how to set up this wordpress WordPress REST API authentication with the help of a video, you are going to get the video link right over here which says for more details refer to the following resource here. So if you are going to open this, you are going to get the video link right over here how you can set up the authentication. And now it is asking me for the base URL. So we are going to read the help text again and it is saying please provide your completely publicly accessible WordPress URL including HTTPS exclude this so we are going to open our wordpress and over here you can see that this is my url so i'm going to copy this and we have to exclude this so we are going to copy this first and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow and after pasting this we are going to click on save and yes, you can see that we have successfully connected our WordPress account with our Pabli's workflow. And now it is asking me for the email address, username and password. So we are going to map this. So mapping is a method by Pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step. And as you know, our previous step was the trigger step where we selected MailerLite as our trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. And as soon as we are going to map these details automatically, my details will turn dynamic and change with every new subscription subscriber created in my MailerLite account. So I'm going to give you an example that over here in front of email address, if I'm going to enter the email address manually, suppose demo. So if I'm going to enter this manually, then this will not change with every new subscriber created because this is a static information and I've entered it manually. But if I'm going to map it from the previous response, so I'm going to search for email right over here. And as you can see this, so if I'm going to map it from the previous response, it will definitely change because my previous response will also change. So that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time. And now it is asking me for the username. So you have to give a username. So I'm going to keep the username same as email only. Only. So I'm going to search for email and map the email again. So this is the username 2 of my user and now it is asking me for the password. So I'm going to keep the password as name at the rate the phone number. So first we are going to map the name. So I'm going to search for name and over here you can see demo. So we are going to map this and then we are going to put at the rate and then we are going to map the phone number also. And over here you can see the phone number. So we are going to map it and now it is asking me for the first name. So we are going to map this too. Over here we are going to search for name and 
as you can see the same so we are going to map it and now it is asking me for more details so as you can see all of these details are not the required details so i'm going to leave these fields as blank and now it is asking me for the role so i'm going to keep it as same only and then we are going to click on save and send test request and yes you can see that we have received the positive response that with the help of this username and this email and this name we have created a new user in our wordpress account so i'm going to open my wordpress and check that if a new user has been created there or not so i'm going to open my wordpress and over here we are going to search for the same user so i'm going to enter the same username and then we are going to click on search users and yes you can see over here demo user 899 at the rate pablitudes.com over here you can see the name email role and status so yes with this our workflow is successful partially but now i want that as soon as i'm going to create this user automatically the username and the password should be shared with this email so to do this we are going to add another action step right over here so that we can send the login credentials to our new user so i'm going to search for action application as gmail right over here so we are going to search for it and then we are going to select it and then for the action event we are going to select it as send email v2 and then we are going to click on connect again and as you can see again it is asking me for the same so if you have already connected your gmail account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't again you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with gmail and as you can see that now pabli is asking for some permission so i'm going to click on allow and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on allow pabli save and as soon as we are going to click on allow you can see that we have successfully connected our gmail account with our pabli Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the recipient email addresses so we are going to map it again i'm going to search for email and as you can see the same so we are going to map it from the mail alert subscriber created trigger step and then it is asking me for cc and bcc so as you can see that these are not the required fields so we are going to leave it as blank and then we are going to move forward and over here you can see that it is asking me for the sender's email address so i'm going to keep it as same only it is asking me for the sender's name so i'm going to keep it as pabli so i'm going to enter it manually because I want this to be a static information, and now it is asking me for the email subject. So I want the email subject to be your new account login information, and then we are going to move on forward. And now it is asking me for the reply to. So as you can see that this is not the required field, so I am going to leave it as blank. And now it is asking me for the email content type. So we are going to keep it as plain only. And now it is asking me for the email content. So I want the email content to be Hi name, welcome to our community. We are excited to have you join us. This email. contents your login information for your new account username for security purposes we have assigned you a temporary password here it is and the temporary password so over here you can see that we are going to map this name so that all of my users receive a more personalized mail so i'm going to search for a name and as you can see demo so we are going to map it so now it has become hi demo welcome to our community and over here we are going to map the username so we are going to open the wordpress response and over here you can see the username so we are going to map it for the password again we are going to map the name so i'm going to search for name and then we are going to map the name put at the rate and then we are going to map the phone number so i'm going to enter it and now after doing all of this rest of the mail would remain same because these are the static information and now we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the file name and attachment and as you can see both of these are not the required field so i'm going to leave it as blank if you wish you can definitely add these out and now it is asking me for the label ids so i'm going to keep it as inbox only and now it is asking me for the signature so as you can see that this is also not the required field so i'm going to leave it as blank if you wish you can definitely add your signature right over here and then we are going to click on save and send test request and yes you can see that we have received the positive response that we have successfully sent a new mail to this account which is demo user 899 at the rate pablitudes.com so i'm going to open my gmail and check that if we have sent the mail or not so i'm going to open my gmail and yes you can see your new account login information so i'm going to open this and yes you can see the mail that we entered hi demo welcome to our community oh you can see the username the temporary password oh you can see all these details that we enter right over there in our workflow so yes with this our workflow is successful but i'll just test this workflow once and this time i'm going to give you a real time example so i'm going to open my form and create a new subscriber in mail a light and then we are going to check that automatically if a user gets created in the wordpress and they should also receive a mail too so i'm going to open my subscriber forms we are going to refresh this page and do another test 
test submission. So now for the name, I'm going to keep it as test, email as test, user 655 at the rate .com. And then for the phone number, I'm going to keep it as this only. And then you are going to click on subscribe. And yes, you can see, thank you. You have successfully joined our subscribers list. And now this means that MailerLite has automatically created a new subscriber with the same details. And that subscriber details has been sent to our workflow. For the public capture, the response triggered the workflow and created a new user with the same details and automatically send them a mail about the login credentials of the user account. So I'm going to open my MailerLite first and check for the new subscriber. So I'm going to open my MailerLite and as yes, you can see a new subscriber test user 655 at the rate .com. So this was the same email that we entered. So yes, we have successfully created a subscriber and now we are going to open our WordPress and check for the user. So I'm going to let you know that this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send test request. I'll directly open my WordPress account and over here we are going to search for this user. So I'm going to enter the email and then we are going to click on search users. And yes, you can see test 655 at the rate .com. Oh, we can see the name, email, role and the status. So yes, with this, our workflow is partially successful. And now I'm going to open my Gmail and check that if we have sent the mail or not. So I'm going to open my Gmail and then we are going to go back. And yes, you can see a new mail, your new login information, hi, test. Oh, we can see the new username and the new password. So yes, with this, our workflow is successful. And I'll just summarize the workflow for you once. For our trigger application, we selected mail and light. For for the trigger event, we selected subscriber created. For the action application, we selected WordPress. And then for the action event, we selected create a user. Again, for the action application, we selected Gmail. And then for the action event, we selected send email. Because I wanted that as soon as a new subscriber is created in my MailerLite account, automatically user should be created in my WordPress too. And that user should get the login credentials on their Gmail of the WordPress account. So yes, we were successful with our workflow. Over here, you can see the two subscribers I created. Over here, you can see the user I created. And over here, you can see the two mails I sent to my user. So yes, with this, our workflow is successful. And if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video. And for your reference, I'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.